what, uh, there's some fans cheering on Lasid as well, trying to That's right. give him some encouragement. Well, I guess it's just time to chime, maybe. So why well, not? Everybody should have his shot. Yeah, absolutely. And, and obviously, it comes down to this, but um, as much as the Warriors up 2-0, our dude can do the same exact thing back, and we can go Very to game true. five. That's true. He does have a Hunter deck left here. It's, so he has a Hunter deck. He Hunter. has a Warrior deck. <laughs> The problem with the Hunter is that there are two classes that can just stomp on it. And then yeah. there's the Warrior deck. So you think you should go Warrior? Warrior feels but a little bit better against the Yeah, I think Warrior might be the best option. And at yeah. the same time, I talk a lot with Radu, and he says just feels really confident versus these other players that he has never met. He feels really confident in the, any single mirror match. Okay. Because he, I guess, experience. it's a little bit of cockiness, but of course he has exper uh, experience to back it up. So. Yeah. Well, he's definitely one of the biggest winners in Hearthstone's history. For sure. So he has a definitely above 70% of win ratio. It's pretty crazy. Gosu. Well, well, that Gosu Gamers ranking is going to tank pretty soon here if he loses. Yeah, he, yeah, he has to win this match. He's Rose in the top 10 right now. He's really dropping fast. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I would be like slightly worried about, I guess I don't know exactly what's in this Warrior deck. Is he playing Baron Geddon himself? Like, is this Shaman going to be a real pain to deal with? That could mm. be a problem for yeah. sure. Um, but Warrior yep. versus Shaman isn't that bad. It's tough. I, only but I like the Warrior side when in that matchup. I like playing the Warrior versus the Shaman, and I feel favored the way I play it. But Do you play, like, Geddon or Double Brawl? Not brawl? necessarily, but the, the thing is you, you just stall it out and make them yeah. exhaust their resources. Mm. You just got to be able to... Like, the worst-case scenario is when they can taunt up the, and have flame, flame Tongue behind. That's the worst-case scenario. Yeah, yeah. But aside from that, I think you can keep it really under control. Alrighty. Well, uh, we'll see. He's going to have to win the mirror matchup first. You said he's very confident in it. I, I, that's uh, a decent hand, actually. That, that spider is really good. Yeah, yeah. I don't like keeping the shield block for Lissette, to be honest. He has an Acolyte. I think Unstable Acolyte, I would consider. I love keeping Shield Block when versus Handlock, but that's yeah, because I expect to get the Shield Slam. But yeah. He even kept the Ghoul. Why? Ooh, here's oh, a joke. Ghoul yeah. can actually be detrimental to himself. Like, he can help the opponents get the draw. Right. Yeah. I mean, as much like, he's as being he's greedy, he kept Ghoul with Acolyte because he knew he had the, the follow-up play. I think it's okay for him to be greedy. Maybe he looks and says, ooh, RDU might be really good in this mirror against me. You yeah. know? I got to take some risks. Wow. Yeah. And it is a risk. Uh... Well, if he kept both, he would ghoul here, but he's going to armor. So I, I guess he's going to acolyte, acolyte, and right. then ghoul. Yeah. That's really greedy. <laughs> it is That's super greedy. greedy. But and that might cost him the game in Fatigue War. What do you think about that? Yeah, if we go to Fatigue, you're very right about that. Well, we're you still never want to draw Even as Harrison, way. he's just going to draw cards for days. Yeah, we're you never want to draw this much. Off. So, hold your horse. So there goes one of the acolytes. I guess Radu doesn't want to go into fatigue or something. Well, I mean, it's also the case where it's just the beginning of the game. Yeah. So like he's not predicting that hand from giving your opponent from last a lot side. of If draw. you give him three cards off his first accolade, you're going to yeah. lose, like, he most of the time. You. Oh, look at this. Unless you have all the answers, like, Gag Execute, Shield Block, Shield Slam. Mm -hmm. I guess you can stop that because there's so much one more you can do in each turn. Oh, well, yeah, both players removing everything with their death spikes right now. Well, uh, RDU's picking up some of his heavy hitters. Yeah, um, he goes for the cycle. No getting those late game legendaries are the important cards, but I always like when Admiral will tell me that this matchup can also be defined by how you use your smaller cards. Whoa. Oh. Why did he? Oh, huh. That belongs in a museum. Wow. I mean, I guess you're not really going to get a better target with him, but it is. I a think well, he's, a, he's playing around his opponent's Harrison as well. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, when I look at it, that's like that's only the only the only option. Other than that, how bad would that be? Like each one draws one, and it's even, and he's pulling ahead because he would be able to answer the Harrison first. True. And he might have just attacked. Oh, like Ooh. I can counter shield slam or something, but he, he can still armor up and shield slam if he had it. Uh, this Harrison actually worked out so well. Yeah, yeah. Right, that's right. a big card God. advantage. The fact that he killed that. He, yeah, look at this. He's gonna play a Karn here and remove the Lothab. A set in great shape. He's way ahead, yeah. Really great he shape. He also plays BGH. That's going to play a big role. Yeah, in that's that's a fact. And we see Rag and Grom ready there. Oh, man. Ooh. Ooh. He's going to start hurts. paying some life. It, it uh. does hurt, but I don't think you can... Like, I don't think you want to spend your removal I like this. I think he might even execute Brawl next turn. Yeah. I, I think that's the play. Oh, the Belcher. Those death rails are so annoying. Mm. 
push for. Yeah, and Karen's getting really good value already. Doing a lot of damage back on your opponent. Being aggressive in this mirror matchup is often a, a, a big swing of things, too. Like I said, uh, Black Knight down. and be able to deal with the Belcher. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's actually good. But that card, though, is still getting a lot of value. Mm. Uh, that 4 2 is going to trade into that 4 5. And then he needs another single point of damage. Does Pretty easy it? to find that. Has his own axe. Yeah. Even has the unstable ghoul. Yes, he might. Axe and Acolyte and Ramor up. You don't really. There's no real merit to the ghoul right now, I think. Mm. Who? What's he pushing for? I don't think he's. If he shield blocked first, he yeah. could have current in Taskmaster, but, but he can't really guess it. But if he was planning on hitting the axe, you don't want to do that. Yeah. Armor. And you know, people are like really. Uh, I gotta say, pro players like use their their uh, cruel taskmaster so quickly. They're so ready to use him for anything he'll do. And we see a lot of games where you just barely yeah. can't kill your opponent because you can't trigger your. I think RD is okay with either target here, honestly. Yeah. And shining like, the armor is one thing, but uh, you know, losing this to the BGH. That's painful. That is gonna be painful. Like, I remember the once Nax came off, the warrior build started shifting a lot and people so stopped playing Taskmaster eventually. Yeah. Like Kit Kat started with that principle. And what hap actually happened was that you relied on ghouls and that spikes to yeah. proc your Gramash, and most of the time you just couldn't proc it on your own turn. Yeah, that became a, a, a real tough. nuisance. Yeah. The yep, opposite of playing the Anaclad, he's playing a round brawl, I suppose. Yeah, I like it. Uh, play it slow here. There's no reason to commit three minutes. There's a spellbreaker now, though. I guess the spellbreaker would be most useful in the current, but yeah, didn't get. There's still value. a few other things he may be able to end up hitting, uh, but we'll see about that. That's fight into Taskmaster, and then he has the two feet challenge in Fortnite, which gets axed though. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, well, I mean, at least he's clear on the board right now, but with just four cards in hand and a vastly like, inferior life If you had a much higher HP total, he could have baited into the Brawl. Mm. But I guess he just want to save that four yeah, damage. Yeah, it's starting to get to the critical health stages. His opponent has a weapon up. His uh, hand is almost double as a rat is, and he can clear the board, and he has his own threats and so on. Yep. This is where the card advantage really does come into play. He's like three or four cards ahead by now. Yeah. Just continue to rack it up because he's going to use his cool task, Master Draw card. He's about five cards ahead right now. Yeah. It's not a bad hand either. A lot of flexibility in there. A lot of answers for anything that gets drawn from uh, RDU. Well, uh, the, the Sludge Belcher is a stabilization point. But gosh, Your using the Spellbreaker here just to put out the body is the best thing you can do for I mean, you have to start putting on pressure back. You have Gromash in hand already. Mm -hmm. Kill that Black Knight. He's just going to get his revenge. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, I like that he's hesitating to think about the yeah. play first. I mean, it's always tempting to go for Black Knight, but is there a better play? Well, is uh, RDU ever going to commit more than this? Maybe he's thinking the Brawl is something that could be considered. The Black Knight just seems superior, could though. Could kill off his own Sylvanas. Not with Execute, but yeah. Shield Slam Not with Execute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right. Ready for really? Shield Slam? Oh. Yeah, the 10 mana. They did 9 mana. What is it? Yeah. Oh, no. It's, uh, no, it's 11, 11 mana. mana. Yeah, 11 exactly. Mana. Oh, Not so bad. close to being clever. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that way all the time. Got to get... Step it up. Well, both cool tasks have been used. The balls coming Ooh, up. Oh, inner rage. rage. You told me about this yesterday. Yeah. We've seen like he has another tech card. Occasionally. Not reveal up, it, but huh. He has a nasty come on this deck. I mean, whatever comes out of this brawl, it's easy to kill, but now he doesn't have to use his weapon to kill us off, right? You can just pass back. I think it's reasonable not to attack that. Yeah. Taking it too anyway. So well, Ragnaros is going to put some real pressure back on his opponent to deal with it immediately. It's execute or bust for RDU. And I think this could be the last couple of turns. Yeah, it's looking like from it. From the Romanian player. There's no other problem. He has to deal with this. What does he have? He has a execute. Oh, he does have execute. All right. <laughs> I, w I didn't remember or not. Yeah. Okay, yeah, may as well. He's going to execute in a rage and just attack him. Yeah. That BGH is going to come off and the game's going to be over. 
Well, here oh, goes boy. nothing. Seven cards to two. His opponent. BGA is going to be a plus one card advantage. Right, but if, if his opponent has the execute, which he does have, then RDU is a sitting duck. Oh, boy. Can I execute as well? Survive. Yeah, I, execute. You can't steal it, but. Uh, and I think. He was able it's to okay them. to put Baron Gedd and start pressuring. Yeah. yeah. Imagine he had Gedden Sylvanas right shield block shield slam. He'd be a, have lethal right now. That'd be beautiful. Wow. Well, I mean, <laughs> if we're playing that game. <laughs> Mike, well, there's a lot of ways, too. If, if right. he was a priest and he had mind control, that would be game as well. That's true. Dude, a when I played my qualifier for this tournament, I remember a priest mirror where both my thoughts still got a mind control each. You can see how that, wow. that went. Like, I popped my Zera, he mind controlled it, I mind controlled it back. He went Sylvanas Shadow War Death, I mind controlled it back, and I still had one left. <laughs> well, I, I don't really see how RDU can climb back in. Harrison Jones is not going to do it. Yeah. And we have a 3 0 from a player from Tunisia. Wow. Uh, totally unexpected. We didn't really know Lissette coming in, but he's mm -hmm. played very well. Uh, picked up play. a 3 0 with Warrior against RDU, sure. one of the very best players in the world, the favorite mm -hmm. of the tournament, does go out in that round of eight. Very true. Well, there you go. That's interesting. You know, and I think uh, with RDU out, I'm actually not that familiar with the rest of, like, I haven't seen well, a lot look, of, we have of the tournaments. Korea versus Tunisia in the top four of one side. Of course, the other side, uh, we're still going to have to go through. Those are our next two matches. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, we're just going to have to take pack. a look at how that goes. Um, Norway, Denmark. Okay, yeah, Azerbaijan Norway, Denmark. And wow. I this played is the Austrian yesterday. Yeah, he was he was quite good. He played uh, outside as well, yeah. Yeah, Yone. Yone. Yeah, yeah, versus Rado. Yeah. Well, you know what? I'm really happy here for uh, for La Seed because, you know, RDU is going to go to other tournaments. He already got announced as a, as a seed for DreamHack. Mm -hmm. He's going to have many times to prove himself, uh, but it's good to see – Another guy from a local scene to be able exactly. to come out here, yeah. get a chance to play for up to five thousand dollars if you win first place. What a great story! Yeah. He he played really well too. Yeah. I mean, I mm -hmm. hope that with, with this maybe that's like not you don't expect like okay, if you three zero with Hunter or Warlock, let's be real. It's like well, cool. I mean, everyone anyone feels like they can do that, but Warriors are much a trickier class. It's yeah, not the it easiest one to play. Is. And it, it's not like he played poorly. Maybe a mistake here or there, but there's a lot of pressure sure. on the line now playing yeah. against one of the He's best players in the world. Away now for the money. Yeah. If he wins one more match, he's already in the cash. Exactly. Big time. So yeah. pretty sick. Well done. He's not over yet. We'll see him tomorrow for the semifinals and the grand finals of ISF 2014. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have Norway versus Denmark coming up on stream. But I also want to thank Ignite for coming up, uh, doing a great thank you job. Very much. Yeah, yeah, it was quite for fantastic. Me. Always yeah, fun man. to have you up here. Are we going to yeah. see you at another tournament soon? Um... I don't think so. Not like yet. any of Nothing the online Heroes of Cards or anything like that going on? There's going to be the third edition now, but That's I'm right. not in it. Okay. Maybe in the LAN they, okay. they announce if that sure, sure, comes sure. to happen. All right, hopefully. well, we'll see more of Ignite hopefully in the future. In the meantime, guys, stay tuned here and hashtag ISF on social media. We'll be back right after this.